All right, good morning. My name is Vanessa. I am an exercise physiologist at PeopleFit. Today we will be doing a total body beginner strength routine, which will consist of switching between two different strength exercises, two sets of 12 each, and then we'll do another set grouping of exercises. So this is designed to work your whole body. We do have weights involved, but you can definitely do all of these exercises with just your body weight. So if you don't have weights, don't worry, you can still do this. So let's just start with walking back and forth, swinging our arms, and just getting our body moving. If it hasn't already moved yet today, it might be just rolling out of bed, or maybe you've been up for a while, but either way, we're going to just warm up our body. And then we are going to start with a bicep curl. So if you have dumbbells, go ahead and grab those. If not, you can do it with your own body weight or things that you have around the house, such as cans. So grabbing those dumbbells, elbows glued, palms facing forward. We're gonna curl to the top, making sure those wrists stay straight and slowly lowering back down. Good. Two. Good. Making sure they don't drop. Really resisting gravity coming back down. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. All right. You can put those weights to the side, and we are going to switch between that and the squat. So again, like I always say, if you want to do a sit to stand instead, if you have a chair, you can come from sitting to standing instead. Or if you don't have a chair, you can have your feet facing forward, your legs about a little greater than hip distance apart, hands wherever you like. We're going to pretend like we're sitting down on a chair, making sure those knees stay behind your toes, coming down as far as you feel comfortable, and coming back up to the top. Trying to keep your back as flat as you can, and again, you decide how far you want to go down. Good. Four. So really working those leg muscles to help you come up and down. Again, we want those knees behind our toes so we're not putting added pressure on the knee joint. Good. Awesome. dumbbells again and go back to the curl. All right. Elbows glued, palms facing forward. Curl. Make sure those wrists stay straight. Don't come in towards you. Slowly lowering down. Good. Two. Three. Making sure they're slowly coming back down. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job. Eleven. And 12, awesome. All right, let's put those weights to the side and go back to either your sit to stand or your squat. So toes facing forward, legs a little greater than hip distance apart. Coming down, pretending like you're sitting and coming back up. Two, again, make sure those knees stay 
behind your toes. You don't want them to come over like that. Stay back. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. So we really want to feel this in the front of our legs, the back, and in our butt. Good. Three more. Good. Awesome. All right, so we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to have a lot of arms today. So we're going to do the arm circuit three different times throughout this, um, throughout this class. So let me just grab my timer real quick. Um, all right, let's see. So for the first one, we are going to do 20 seconds in this direction. 20 seconds in this direction, 20 seconds with a C, and 20 seconds up. All right, ready, and go. Circling forward. So we'll just do one of these, and then we'll do another one in the middle, and then another one at the end. We'll reverse in three, two, one. Good. Again, trying to relax your neck as much as you can. Good. Good. All right, our next motion is that C shape. You can either keep your hands in the fist or have them flat. Three, two, one. Can't. Drawing a C. Good. All right, and our last one will be pulsing up in three, two, one. Pulsing up, last 20 seconds. Then we're going to do 20 calf raises, and then we're going to, we're just doing these once, and then we'll go into the next grouping of exercises. So 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, let those arms take a little rest. We're gonna do 20 calf raises, so feet together. Feel free to hold on. Again, remember, string attached to your head, thinking straight up, making sure your hips aren't helping with that raise. All right, again, you can go at the same pace as me, or if you want to do a little slower, totally fine. You can do a little bit less than 20, but we'll start in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Awesome, shake those legs out. All right, we're gonna go into the next two. We're gonna switch between a side leg raise and a rotator cuff. So. For the side leg raise, starting with your feet together, definitely feel free to hold on to something to help with your balance. We're going to bring our leg to the side, making sure that toe still faces forward and slowly coming down, trying to hover over the ground. That standing leg, try to make sure that your knee is not locked in. Doesn't necessarily have to be bent, but just make sure your knee is not locked in. All right, we'll do 12 on each side. One, again, make sure that toe stays facing forward as much as you can. It wants to go in the direction that you're kicking, but try your best to keep that toe forward. Good. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. 
Shake those legs out. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Again, make sure that standing leg's not locked in. Coming out to the side, toe facing forward, slowly coming down. Two. Three. Four. Shake those legs out again. We're going to grab one dumbbell. And we're going to have our arm at 90 degrees, elbow glued to the side. Then we're going to come out as far as we can without rotating our whole body, keeping that elbow glued, trying to keep that 90 degree angle, coming out and back in. So again, try not to let it go down here or down or up here, try to keep that 90 degree angle. Good. Two. Three. So you should feel it right in your shoulder and bicep, right at the top of your arm. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, good, eleven, and twelve. Great job. Switching to the other side, shaking out that arm. Again, 90 degrees, elbow glued, coming out to the side, and back in. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Great. All right, you can put that weight to the side. All right, we're gonna go back to that side leg raise. Feet together, make sure those knees aren't locked in. Toe facing forward, slowly come back in. Two. Three, trying to keep your body as upright as you can, trying not to tilt to the side to get your leg up further. Six, good, halfway. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Good, shake those legs out. We'll go to the other side. Feet together. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good, ten, eleven. And 12. Shake those legs out. We'll grab that one dumbbell again for the rotator cuff. All right. So again, elbow glued, 90 degrees. Keep that 90 degrees up to the side as far as you can and back in. Two. Three. You'll feel it at the top of your arm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, and 12. All right, let's switch to the other side. Elbow glued, 90 degrees, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 12. All right, we're gonna have that um, arm circle circuit again. The only difference is on the last one, instead of pulsing up, we're gonna pulse down. All right, so we'll start with arm circles going forward in three, two, go. So we'll have this arm circuit, then we'll switch between two more exercises and then one last arm circuit, and then we'll stretch and be done. All right, we'll reverse in three, two, one. Good, again, try your best to relax your neck as much as you can really using your arms. Good. All right, our next one is the C shape in three, two, one. Good, 20 more seconds of this, then instead of pulsing up, we'll pulse down. Good. Good, 10 more seconds. Pulse down in three, two, one. Good, last 20 seconds. You got this. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, so our next one, what we're gonna do is again, hold on for balance if you'd like. We're gonna lift the leg up, extend back in and down. So kind of like up, out, in and down. So we're actually going to do six on each side. All right, and again, you decide how high you want to bring your leg up. So up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down, good, up, out, in, down, one more, up, out, in, and down, good, shake the legs out, we'll do six on the other side, up, out, in, and down, up, out, in, down. Again, make sure that standing leg is not locked in. And down, three to go. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Last one, up, out, in, and down. Shake those legs out. We're going to switch between that and a tricep extension. So working that back of your arm. So grabbing your dumbbells if you want. All right, so feet together, slight bend in the knees, hinging forward at your waist. All right, we're gonna have our dumbbells at our hips, elbows in, we're gonna extend back and forward. So just moving at your elbow. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, good, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. All right, let's go back to the up, out, in, down one more time. So again, holding on if you'd like, we'll do six on each side, up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in, down. We want to feel this in the front part of our leg and our quad. Good. Three to go. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. One more. Good. In and down. Shake those legs out. We'll go to the other side. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Three to go. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. One more. Up, out, in, and down. Shake those legs out. We're going to go back to the tricep extension one more time. So grabbing those weights. Feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at your waist, weights at your hips, elbows in, extend back and forward. Two, again, only moving from your elbow down. Four, four. five, six, seven, eight, Nine, good, 10, 11, and 12, great. Okay, last circuit, so it's a little bit longer. We're doing the same thing, except at, after the C, we're gonna do forward and then back, then we'll stretch. So let me set the timer again. Okay. All right. Get ready. We'll, we'll give ourselves a 10 second break. Then we'll go into this one and then we're done with the exercises. All right. Ready, set, and circle forward. All right. We got this. We're almost there. Again, making sure you get tired, you're not using your neck. You can always put your arms down, but if you feel yourself tensing up your neck, take a break. Good. And reverse. Good. So again, now instead of four things, we have five things. So almost there. We'll do our C shape in three, two, and C shape. C. Good. Again, you can either have your hands flat or in a fist. I like it better flat. And our next two will be forward pulsing and back pulsing. Almost there. We'll pulse forward in three, two, one. Pulse forward 20 seconds. You got this. Good. Good. All right, we'll flip in three, two, one. Last 20 seconds, pulsing back. Our arms are probably feeling really heavy and like they're gonna fall off, but we're almost there. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. And done. All right, let's just rest those arms, shake them out, and we'll do a little quick stretch. We'll bring our arm across our body, 
Again, we'll do just the quick version right now. Feel free to repeat these a second time or check out our stretch videos and or stress relief and relaxation. Switching sides. But again, all these ones that we're doing right now are great. I would just do them a second round to get the most out of it. Good. Bringing your arm behind your back, grabbing onto your elbow, stretching out your triceps. Good. All right, other side. All right, we're going to bring our heel onto the floor, toe pointed towards the ceiling, reaching forward if you can. Again, trying to keep this leg a little bit bent as well. Trying to feel it all the way in the back of our leg and our calf. Good. Switching the sides. All right, coming up, arms swinging forward, tilting your head down, stretching out the back of your neck and upper back. Swing your arms in the back, stretching out your chest. We'll do a circle. Good. Bring your legs apart. Slight bend in the knee, letting your whole body fall forward, making sure you're not locking in those legs, grabbing onto your elbows, laying back and forth, slowly rolling up, deep breath in, and out, deep breath in. And out, one more big deep breath in. And we are done. Great, thank you for joining and have a great day.